And you're back to our channel! So for today's video, it is requested by a friend and she requested making, obviously, puto! <laughs> yes. Puto is a native delicacy here in the Philippines, so why not, right? Come on, let's make yummy puto! Wow! <laughs> yummy puto! Let me tell you the ingredients first. Come closer, come! One and a half cup of water, two cups of cake flour, but you can also use all-purpose flour, one cup of sugar, two large eggs, two tablespoons of baking powder, cheese, one fourth cup of melted butter, one tablespoon of vanilla, one half teaspoon of salt, two sachets of 33 grams powdered milk, or one cup of powdered milk. Let's get started! In a mixing bowl, beat two whole eggs. Add the melted butter. One and a half cup of water. The salt. Sugar. Mix well until fully blended. Vanilla. Sifted flour. Baking powder. And mix well. Powdered milk. Mix well and make sure there's no lump. Just, you know, making sure there's no lumps. <laughs> the batter is ready, but let's set this aside for 30 minutes for better result. Set aside, let's go. <laughs> so for the meantime, while waiting for 30 minutes, Let's make strips of cheese, but make sure to make them very thin. Okay, let me show you. Like this. The thinner, the better, because if your cheese is too thick and cubes, it will just sink. So if it's thin, it will float. Mix it again. And now, the batter is ready. Get the scoop. Scoop the batter and pour it into the molders. Just make sure only three-fourths, not very full. Now it's time to put the cheese on top. There you go. But if you're really into cheese, you can put cubes into the batter before the thin strips of cheese on top. We need a steamer. We can use the bamboo steamer. Just boil water in a pan and put the bamboo steamer in the pan. Or if you have a steamer in your rice cooker, that will do too. Now, put the molders into the steamer nicely and neatly. in cover for small molders steam them for seven minutes and for the bigger ones you can steam them for eight to nine minutes let's check it out whoa look at that mm, perfect but let's get them out of the steamer first Yes, perfect. 
Let's get it out from the motor. Whoa. Hot, hot. The texture, it's so soft and fluffy, but it's hot. It's shining. Let's make it half. Oh, the cheese. Let's try it. I describe the taste mm. can I say if you try this you would want to make puto again and again and again which obviously means it's yummy you want some you make puto of your own <laughs> mm. so what are you waiting for no don't wait make puto now um, thank you so much for watching and if you have any comments or suggestions, please comment down below. Thank you. Till the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.